Hello lovelies, this is Arielle from the Tree of Life Tarot. Mm. Uh, we asked in a previous video if we can find reference about Meghan Markle in um let me see what you can see it, yeah. In Nostradamus's uh quatrains in his predictions. And the answer was a yes, uh, but what came out was very intriguing it was the card for the holy grail a woman from a long line of women usually women who are um, destined yeah? they give the holy grail the sangreal to a young man so in this young man i saw uh, Megan giving her heritage to to Archie somehow again so I wanted to check basically the first thing that came to mind was what is this if Archie is an important kid an important child for the world why are they playing this cat and mouse game where they are saying oh he's a private citizen he's not going to have titles but let us you know uh, showcase him in Africa um, so w what stands behind this card and I pull pulled it from the uh, for the bottom of the deck and it, it was again a tree so two trees what is missing what's missing is either the tree of swords or the tree of wands and I would say we don't know which one because we have here both a sword and a, sw um, and, and, um, and a wand actually no we have yeah so here we have what's hidden what's standing behind the heritage that megan is it's megan giving to master archie we have the imagery of a tree and cloaked persons three cloaked persons tending to the tree getting water out of the tree um at the dead of night so we have some I would say hidden work I'd even say maybe maybe witchcraft most definitely witchcraft but looking at uh, whatever sangreal is uh, created here looking at how it was done here in secrecy through the eyes of um, you know the master master nostradamus from centuries ago obviously this is a witchcraft is it really witchcraft or is it what we now call science most it's possible that it's most likely science but it was done in secret so there is something special about the boy um and, and it's done in secret in the dead of night so what's this what's the situation with the secrecy you know is it the important child is it a minor royal is it a what's the situation here so we have megan the card for megan is a the card of contracts contracts you know making deals really uh receiving messages um messages i think she's i think she's um very much into contacting witches i think she's very much into that and she's contacting them interested in 
following up on the baby. What's the baby? What's the baby? Um, now, the baby is the problem here about uh, the problem behind the secrecy. The secrecy, uh, you know, we and security and things like that. And I'm gonna talk about uh, Megan not wearing her rings um, in another video. But here, the baby is um, is is the secrecy. Uh, something in that baby is the reason that it's not shown to the public proudly. It feels like the baby is very expensive, very precious. Uh, it's kind of like a, like a savior of, of a sort. Um, for Megan, for sure. For Megan is a savior. I also see that the reason behind that weird behavior uh, of cat and mouse is that they don't know they don't know they are really genuinely concerned about losing that precious someone they don't know what's in it for the future they don't know what to expect they they want to overassure themselves so they i don't see here cars that are showing uh let me be proud to show him or let me be happy behind uh, closed doors regardless of whether I show that baby to the world or not what I see is that a lot of insecurity and maybe trying to cover up what was done you know at night at the dead of night uh, it's interesting and we have a lot of, uh, again, Megan actively seeking advice, I think psychic advice for the baby. Interesting. Alrighty, so let's go to look at this, the, the ring, the ring situation. Talk to you in the next video. Bye.